You are listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign area. Hello guys, Survival Tech Nord here. One of my subscribers sent me a message asking if there was some possibility of upgrading the Nomad series of solar panels with a more cost-effective yet equally as portable alternative, which would still work with his Guide 10 battery charger. And my response was, as long as you don't need the 12 volt output of the solar panel, there's a lot of different budget alternatives to choose from. But let's start by taking a look at his requirements. The most important thing for him was that the solar panel was compatible with his Guide 10 AA battery charger. It was also important that the panel would be powerful enough to charge up his Android tablets and smartphones directly. He said that his kids were using iPads and he also wanted to be sure that the panel was compatible with the charging requirements of those devices. Liking the form factor of the Nomad panel, he also wanted to be sure that this panel would be a folding one. Finally, the panel had to be able to charge two devices at once, of course in full sunlight. So realistically, it's impossible for any one channel to try all of the different combinations of solar panels out there. But I have tried this one, putting it through a few probably unfair tests just to make sure that it fit the requirements. In the very first test, I wanted to see if I could charge up my Samsung Galaxy S4 and my Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 at the same time. To my surprise, in full sunlight, this actually worked perfectly. Without full sunlight, I was only able to charge one device at a time, but that's to be expected. Next, I wanted to ensure that the Guide 10 AA battery charger was compatible with the Chotec 19 watt solar panel. Of course, that means you have to plug the solar panel into the Guide 10's USB input port, but that also worked fine. Finally, I wanted to check and see if I could attach the solar panel to my backpack and charge my tablet while I went for my daily walk with my dogs. This is another unfair test because the solar panel isn't going to be in direct sunlight all the time. Nevertheless, I started with 40% on the battery and arrived home with 50% on the battery. Nothing to complain about there as we weren't in direct sunlight all the time. The last test of the day was kind of a mistake. I was upstairs in the radio room enjoying my time and I suddenly heard... Anyway, the end result was in that short time the solar panel had charged up the tablet to 74%. Well, now we know it works. My conclusion? If you're looking for a budget alternative to the Goal Zero to use with your smartphone or tablet, or to charge your AA batteries with a Guide 10, this might just be the panel for you. All the information's in the description, guys. Rock and roll. Thanks for watching. Ciao.